three, two, one. Yo, what it is, YouTube, huh? It's your boy, Nancy, coming back with another bullseye of a tutorial today on the channel. We got the highly requested Lil Papa vocal preset. Let's not waste no time. Let's jump into this right now and let's get to dropping how you can get some of those soulful pain, mainstream, melodic vocals. So let's go. I put my life on the line. Then I turn around and put that same life in my run. I try controlling my emotions, put my pride to the side. Certain ones I preach forever will end up and I survive. And those were my savages. I'll never have what we had again. Let me switch the topic before I'm sad again. But gotta make my fans mad again. But round and disappear hundred times this year. I know I might. Okay, so that's the sound of the Lil Papa preset that we got right here. But let's see how close we came to get it sounding like Lil Papa really quickly. So if you guys are going to enjoy this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, don't forget to check out the Patreon link down below where we have exclusive gem dropping tutorials. So let's listen to how close we got it to sound like Lil P -p -p Papa. Put my life on the line Then I turn around and put that same life in my run I try controlling my emotions Put my pride to the side Certain ones I preach forever We ended up not surviving And those are my savages I'll never have what we had again Let me switch the topic before I'm sad again If I gotta make my fans mad again But around and disappear hundred times this year I know it might seem strange I put my life on the line, then I turn around and put that same life in my run. I try controlling my emotions, put my pride to the side. Certain ones I preach forever with, and I'm not survive. And those are my savages. Okay, so as you guys can see right here, we was able to get in the ballpark of sounding it like Lil Papa. I really love his sound a lot, so I wanted to break it down today. Another one of those similar type of artists that he kind of reminds me of is just like those uh, melodic, you know, soulful, you know, just that really, really modern mainstream sound that everybody wants. So that's why I wanted to do this Lil Papa vocal tutorial today. Let's see what it sounds like with and without the preset. Let's go. I put my life on the line Then I turn around and put that same life in my run I try controlling my emotions Put my pride to the side Certain ones I preach forever with And them and I survive And those were my savages I'll never have what we had again Let me switch the topic before I'm sad again Fuck I done made my fans mad again But round and disappear Woo! So as you guys can see, this preset really helped a lot. Originally, it kind of feels like the vocal was kind of like a little treasure that was buried under the dirt, you know, was hidden inside of a bulletproof safe. But using, you know, this little pop-up preset, I was able to unlock, you know, the beauty of the vocal and make it sound really queer and um, really cool make it sound really cool really cut really fresh okay don't don't cancel me for saying that all right so let's look at this right now um with the little papa preset first thing i want to talk about is the auto tune it's important to understand his auto tune sound usually i never talk about you know uh, too much about the auto tune because it's always going to depend on your voice you know it's very dependent on your voice and also the performance you give but with little papa i really like how it kind of sounds like his auto tune is aggressive but you can't really hear it a lot and that kind of comes from the real high human speed um that little papa has inside of his auto tune so that's kind of like what i got from his sound uh just a really fast retune speed so yeah you know the the words that need to be tuned get tuned really quickly but for the most part it's kind of really natural really natural sounding auto tune and of course that's coming down to the performance you know so i'm gonna do a video talking about the thing in my auto tune video if you guys check one of my first videos where i said you got to pull out a piano and calibrate i'm gonna do a video about that so you guys can see how i start up on my auto tune to get it sounding perfect every single time i I got you guys. And if you do want to see it, comment down below so I can get to it quicker. So yeah, those are the auto-tune settings. Pretty good. I use low mail and I use a little bit of that flex tune because he has a little bit of, watch out, quirkiness. That's the word, quirkiness in his voice. His voice kind of, it kind of has this little rattling type of sound. So that's what I'm looking for, you know, with Lil Papa's uh, vocals to get a little bit of that rattling so it has movement in the high end, but for the most part, stay very strong, consistent in the middle so you can hear those great lyrics that he's talking about. You know, he got to stop going MIA. But here it is. 
first thing that I have right here when I'm, you know, planning out Lil Papa's vocal is I feel like with Lil Papa, I want a lot of that soul. I kind of get these church, you know, back at the, the church, you know, the, the preacher's uh, son type of vibes from his type of music. You know what I mean? He's like a street preacher. You know, I imagine him on a podium with a Bible preaching to I put my life on the line. Then I tell him I say, Amen. so those are the, the kind of the lyrics that I'm kind of getting. So I always listen to the lyrics and help that, you know, kind of see how I'm going to take the picture. Am I going to take a wide angle? Am I going to take a close up? Like, how do I want to approach capturing the moment that the artist is going to give me through the microphone? So I like to use something like uh, the Kramer tape very early in the beginning, specifically with Lil Papa, because it kind of gives this really nice warmth, this, this nice, really, uh, you know, pretty good top end sheen. I think the Kramer tape also has like a, uh, you know, tubes inside of it too. So it kind of has a little bit of brightness from this specific tape machine. So let's listen to it with and without. I put my life on the line. Then I turn around and put that same life in my run. I try controlling my emotions. Put my pride to the side. Certain ones I preach forever with and never and I survive. And those were my savages. I'll never have what we had again. Let me switch the topic for I'm sad again. But gotta make my fans mad again. But round and disappear hundred times this year. So I actually really use the Kramer tape to help add a little bit of brightness. I'm understanding that the Kramer tape is a tape machine that has a little bit of tubes in it. So I know tubes make it brighter, and that's why I picked this one specifically. The, the high end the whole way. I don't want to degrade my high end. I want it to still sound very mainstream, very sheen, very crystal, very clear like a glass or a mirror. And then after that, you have the flux, and the flux is actually a little bit of tape compression, but uh, like kind of like different from other compressors. You can't visualize the amount of tape compression you're doing, but this one right here, though, the recording, the playback, that's the saturation. And this one right here is the amount of tape compression you're getting. Cool to know. After that, with Little Papa's vocal, I went for something like an SSL E channel, knowing that, okay, he's got that natural brightness. I want to enhance that brightness. I want this to really feel kind of like uh, a situation where Little Papa's really cutting through the mix. You know what I mean? You know, a glass, if you touch it, it can cut you. So sometimes, if you want a vocal to cut through the mix, you might have to make it a little bit brighter. You can relate it to something like that, you know, a real life example. Just rolling off a little bit of low end. I know that his voice is not very deep, so I'm not going to get too aggressive with cutting the lows on Lil Papa's voice because usually if you got a brighter voice, your voice is not, not going to have too much body, too much weight. So I want to preserve that. I want to preserve that, you know. I feel like I'm a camper, right? You know when you go out to camp and shit like that, you only got three days worth of food, but you're going to be in that bitch for four days, you got to ration it. So that's kind of how I feel about the low end of his vocal. I'm not, I only got so much body from his vocal. I better not start cutting it because I'm going to need it for the rest of the vocal chain. Now let's look at this with and without. I put my life on the line, then I turn around and put that same life in my run. I try controlling my emotions, put my pride to the side. Certain ones I preach forever with and never and I survive. And those were my savages i'll never have what we had again let me switch the topic before i'm sad again but gotta make my fans mad again but round and disappear hundred times Amazing part about something like the SSL E channel is that it has an automatic makeup gain for the compressor part. So, you know, only doing about one to three dBs with that hard, that hard knee, really just trying to help, you know, like I said in the beginning with intention, understanding that I'm on a camping trip, I'm trying to survive, I need a sharp knife, I need a sharp vocal that's gonna help me get through this song. So I'm using the VCA compressor that has a hard knee and that's kind of like sharpening the vocal. Then I have this high shelf boost at around five dB. And the reason why I'm doing that is because I'm actually EQing in to the next plugin I have right here, which is the de -esser. So pretty much what I'm doing is I'm kind of like boosting and cutting at the same frequency. So it's kind of like my high end is bright, but I'm getting it to move around a little bit, you know? I'm getting my high end to flam. So I'm pushing everything at, at about 5K, then I'm de at the same time. So the vocal is not gonna be harsh. It's gonna be bright and the high end is gonna move around versus where if I just kind of had it without the de after the fact, then, you know, it, it probably might just be stagnant. You know, it might just be like, that whistling top in because a shelf is boosting 5k everything and up so let's look at this real quick i put my life on the line then i turn around and put that same life in my run i try controlling my emotions put my pride to the side certain ones i preach forever with and never and i survive and those were my savages I'll never have what we had again. Let me switch the topic before I'm sad again. But gotta make my fans mad again. 
So as you guys can see, consistently pushing into that wall, consistently pushing into that paddle board de-esser, you know, the, you know, the vocal's kind of like a ball, keeps bouncing off of that, off of that de-esser, you know, pretty much. And it's a good situation because the high end doesn't remain stagnant. I want that high end to be bright with Lil Papa, but then I want it to still have a sense of wiggliness, you know, still like a, a snake kind of just slithering through the upper range of the whole instrumental, you know what I mean? So that's kind of what I did right here. And of course, cutting just a little bit of the lows, but nothing too crazy a db here a db there just tightening up for the fact that we wasn't too aggressive with our high pass filter after that we have c4 uh pop vocal preset i love to use this to like i said bring a little bit of that hype bring a little bit of that movement into the high end of little papa's vocal you know what i mean and that's what kind of just helps it not become boring you know as he's making those men i put my life on the line you know if you imagine that you were standing on a line right and you're trying to walk through a line imagine that he's telling you he's putting his life on a line right if you was like a, in a circus and you were walking on the line, right? That shit would not be fucking straight. That shit would be crooked and wobbly. So that's kind of what I'm going for with the vocal. You, you kind of kind of got to imagine shit like this. You know what I mean? You got to make this music shit fun, like elementary school with crayons and shit. How you want to draw the picture? How you want to color it in? You know what I mean? So pop vocal preset, using that to help bring a lot of bit of wiggle room and movement to the vocal. I put my life on the line. Then I turn around and put that same life in my run. I try controlling my emotions, put my pride to the side. Certain ones I preach forever will and them to not survive. And those were my savages. And I had a very, look at that, look at that, look at that, look at that, still getting up, still getting up. I had a very slow release on the lower end because like I said, I want his low end to be clamped. I want it to be sturdy. I want it to be an anchor. You know what I mean? I want it to really be the brake pads for his lead vocal. So the release is very slow on the low end because I want to clamp down that low end so it still feels strong. I just want the high end to move in comparison. You know what I mean? So sturdy, low end, and you know, kind of dynamic high end. That's the strategy I was going for. After that, we had the uh, C4. Uh, after the C4, we had the R EQ. And this is like a tonal balancing EQ. You know, it just kind of like, you know, really just balances everything really for me. It is a preset I use a lot. I made myself. And that's what I would recommend you guys to do. You know, if you have a preset that you made yourself, you know, maybe you want to save it, you know, because you might end up in that same situation again. And rather than trying to redo the wheel, you already kind of have a preset that works for you that you made. And most important, most listen, that you made your swag, your drip that you can apply to your songs. That's kind of how you get your signature sound a little bit. You know what I mean? Uh, then I Put my life on the line Then I turn around and put that same life in my run I try controlling my emotions Put my pride to the side Certain ones I preach forever with And them do not survive And those were my savages I'll never have what we had again Let me switch the topic before I'm sad again Fuck I done made my fans mad again But round and disappear on the times is Okay, and uh, another th important thing I did with the lead vocal too is I guess there was a, a part where it, it kind of got harsh and you know, I had the DSers already like working like crazy on that bitch. So I went in there and I actually like clip gained it down if you guys can see yeah you see it right there i clip gained this part down that's another great way to have your vocals be like really bright because this like this is like literally the same brightness as little papa this is the sound y'all want let's look at it real quick then I turn around and put that same life in my rhyme. I try controlling my emotions, and put my pride to the side. Certain ones I preach forever, we ended up. And those were my savages. I'll never have what we had again. Let me switch the topic before I'm sad again. My fans mad again. Fuck around and disappear hundred times this year. I know I'm. So that's kind of the vocal sound that you guys want. That's what I'm giving you. And that's another great trick for you to, you know, have those super bright vocals that are not harsh. Sometimes if there's a harsh word, you know, clip it down a little bit, you know, bring it down by like a dB or two. Okay, after that, we had the R compressor at an extremely light ratio, just kind of really dipping my hands in the cookie jar, you know, really getting in there. A situation where I'm just really like literally, you know, gathering. I'm just collecting all of the nuances in the vocal. And let's listen to how this kind of tidies up the vocal. I put my life on the line, then I turn around and put that same life in my run. I try controlling my emotions, put my pride to the side. Certain ones I preach forever with, and them do not survive. And those were my savages. I'll never have what we had again. Let me switch the topic before I'm sad again. Fuck, I done made my fans mad.
Yeah, so pretty much just kind of like gathering all the nuances and everything like that. I really like using like a really low, 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 low level compressor because like, you know, like that. It lets me put the threshold all the way down so uh, the entire signal is being affected. Then after that, we have something like the RVox, you know, nothing crazy. We already know what the RVox does. I'm not going to really try to repeat myself, uh, you know, just the gate to tighten up, bring a little bit of compression for the body. I put my life on the line. Then I turn around and put that same life in my run I try controlling my emotions, put my pride to the side Certain ones I preach forever with and never and I survive And those were my savages I'll never have what we had again Let me switch the topic before I'm sad again But gotta make my fans mad again But round and disappear on the time so yeah, just giving us a lot of that body, a lot of that tone. And that's what I feel like is important for somebody like Lil Papa because you don't want a situation where his vocal kind of gets lost inside of the ocean of the beat and everything like that because there's a lot of reverb, whoo, a lot of melodies and all that stuff like that can, that can kind of take your attention off his vocal and he has great lyrics so we want to keep that focus and that's your responsibility as an engineer if you have somebody about to come in the studio and pour their heart out you damn well better make sure that every word is not only heard but also felt as well that's your responsibility you feel me so use the fresh air as well just uh, it's a free plug in a great way to get that bright mainstream sound i put my life on the line then I turn around and put that same life in my run I try controlling my emotions, put my pride to the side Certain ones I preach forever with and never and I survive And those were my savages I'll never have what we had again I put my so that's what we have the fresh air of course doing what we always know it does you know it's kind of like really removing that blanket that pillow off of the head of the vocal and tell them hey good morning it's time to wake the fuck up so after that we have the de right here as well and um you know just kind of really really like controlling some of that wispiness is what i'm looking for out of that de -esser. so nothing interesting but just kind of clamping down three to six dbs then I, I feel like there was like a little resonance a notch with little papa's vocals so i notched it out with req real quick i put my life on the line then i turn around and put that same life in my run i try controlling my emotions put my pride to the side certain ones i preach forever with and never and i survive and those were my savages I'll never have what we had again okay yeah so that's what we kind of did right there and sometimes when you cut something kind of gives the perception of you know more brightness and everything like that so um also let's let's kind of look a little bit we had a regular like a little delay we kind of had like a phaser a flanger type of delay for little papa so just like a, a, a rather than the h verb i used the delay stomp kind of gave me a different sound and then after that i had something like the meta flanger which is this is how you get that no cap type of sound so listen to it really quickly a uh, meta flanger, a reverb as well right here. And then, of course, the arc comp that was side-chained to the lead vocal to, you know, kind of duck it down every time the, you know, the delay down, every time the vocal is coming in. I wanted to get too cluttered, but I'm going to bring this all the way up. I'm actually going to take off the side chain so you can hear what it's really doing. I put my life on the line. Then I turn around and put that same life in my run. I try controlling my emotions, put my pride to the side. Certain ones I preach for everyone. So you guys got a general idea of kind of what's going on. That flanger gives a little bit of excitement. It kind of feels like what that flanger is doing is kind of like what Lil Baby does with his arms in his videos when he does that rolling thing. Like the delay is moving, right? But then the flanger is kind of like stirring the pot, stirring the pot, stirring the pot. And you kind of feel like more of like, you know, just more of a, the cycles. You just hear every transition in between the delay. Uh, after that, we had a, a basic doubler. Okay, nobody really cares about that. You know, just the regular doubler we always have with a little EQ to give a little bit of whiff to Lil Papa's vocal. Only rolling off the low end, I wanted the top end to be doubled for Lil Papa's vocal because I feel like that's kind of like what helps a little bit more of the sliding transitions uh, in his, his rap vocal come through a little bit better. After that, we had a Kramer tape, kind of like lo lo fine up this reverb right here. And of course, like I said, uh, you know, Pastor Lil Papa, that's kind of what I imagine right here. So that's why I picked a modern church large, right? I feel like a lot of the older, the other church 
presets or church reverbs, they kind of sound old, which is what you expect from a church. You want it to sound old, you know, because a church has like old wood and old, you know, old everything, you know, old materials that are kind of like really softening. But I used the modern large church for uh, Lil Papa's vocal because I just felt like it was more appropriate. I wanted a modern type of gospel vocal that was like trap, you know, like a, the street pope type of shit, you know? Put that same life in my run. I try controlling my emotions. Put my pride to the side. Serve when I preach forever, will it never not survive? And those were my savages. I'll never have what we had again. Let me switch the topic for I'm sad again. But gotta make my fans mad again. As you guys can hear, the Kramer tape just adds a little bit of Himalayan pink salt, just a little bit of texture to the reverb. So the reverb doesn't sound completely flat and boring. And uh, of course, like I always say, the reverb is not going to make or break the song. OK, so it doesn't matter what reverb you use. You just got to make sure that your actual lead vocal sounds good, because if you have a good vocal that actually sounds good and then you're sending it into a reverb, the reverb is probably going to sound good, too, as long as it's appropriate. After that, we had the 670, you know, and of course the Fairchild right here on the parallel compression, really kind of crushing Lil Papa's vocal. I have it on the number six time constant, which is kind of like a dynamic multi-stage release. I feel like that's a little bit better for uh, a rap vocal like this because, you know, uh, a vocal is a very dynamic thing. You know, different words have a different amount of length and attack, you know, so that's very important to know too, but the saturation was low. I didn't drive the tubes too hard, just wanted a lot of that compression sound, and once I started pushing that compression, you're going to see like the needle really just starts moving around a lot, but if I lowered the threshold, the, the release time kind of gets even slower, you know? I put my life on the line Then I turn around and put that same life in my run I try controlling my emotions, put my pride to the side Certain ones I preach forever with and never I survive And those were my savages so that's why it's called a Vera Mu compressor, you know, because the, it's kind of vary, uh, varying the bias current going to the tubes, you know what I mean? So pay attention. When I had my threshold all the way down, the release started, uh, you know, raising the roof, started going crazy, started getting a little agitated. But when I had my threshold a little bit lower, even though I was doing less compression, it was just literally the fact that the the, the needle was moving a little bit slower, you know? That's the kind of the thing about it, you know? With the uh, number six, it's a multi-stage release. So you can use shit like that to your advantage. Okay, after that, let's go over the ad-libs uh for little papa i think that with little papa i feel like that very first ad-lib i did i i know that damn was sounds exactly like little papa that first ad-lib i put my life on the line then i turn around and put that same i put my life on the line then i turn around i put my life on the line then i turn around and I kind of really just built the whole preset um, for the ad-libs around that. So, hey, we know it's accurate, as always. But, yeah, a little pop of ad-libs, nothing crazy, you know. Realistically, I would say the main highlight is not the EQ. It's not really the R-Vox. It's not, it's not really any of these things. I would say the main highlight for little pop of ad-libs is actually using the flanger stomp. So that's kind of how I glued both of these vocals. You see how I used a flanger on the uh, lead vocal for the delay, right? sneaking it in on them and then actually the ad-libs themselves have a real flanger on it so some people say oh the only way you can glue some shit is with gorilla glue elmer's glue or a, a mix bus compressor which is cap there's multiple ways to glue shit together you know how my ad-libs and my lead vocal is kind of glued together i use the flanger to glue shit together which is crazy you would have never nobody ever said that you could use an effect to glue shit together well i'm here to tell you the goddamn truth right now Sometimes you got to just use the same type of plugin, but in a different way. And that's in itself will make it sound cohesive. You know, that in itself will make it sound cohesive. So, yeah, SSL E channel as well. Um, let's look at my SSL E. You know, just uh, really aggressive with the high end. You know, I, I wanted to not have the ad libs cut out through too much. So, I, you know, I kind of reduced it with the green band. So the green band is kind of like presence and articulation. So if you want something to be a little bit more Neanderthal in the cave, you might want to pull back the green knob. And, of course, just cutting out the lows. We don't need the lows. We just need uh, the highs uh, and a little bit of the mid, mid range mostly. So that's why I kind of like wanted the ad-libs to still feel a little bit airy, you know, pushing into that flanger to get that extended top end. Uh, just pay attention to the top end of the ad-libs. They kind of have have like an extended type of you know thing kind of going on i put my life on the line then i turn around and put that same life in my run i try controlling my emotions put my pride to the side certain ones i preach forever will never not survive and those were my savages 
I've never had what we had again Let me switch the topic for I'm sad again But gotta make my fans mad again yeah, so really doing kind of like that same exact move I did on the lead vocal, but even more aggressive. That's another great way I boosted it. Uh, you know, that's another way I glued it together. And let's look at the uh, CLA vocals real quick. With the CLA vocals, I think I was only running to the CLA vocals, mostly for the effects. You know, just because I wanted to, you know, now that I'm gluing shit together, I kind of want to separate it a little bit. You know, being an engineer is like you playing with a little bit of that Play-Doh. Sometimes you take Play-Doh and you mash it up, but sometimes you take Play-Doh and you stretch it. So that is kind of like all your, the mixing moves that you're making. So with this right here, right, we got a situation where I'm just using a different reverb, a different delay, a little bit of pitch shifting. And these are more of the effects that are hitting the flanger. You know what I mean? I put my life on the line. Then I turn around and put that same life in my run. I try to control my emotions. Put my pride to the side Certain ones I preach forever with And never I survive And those were my savages I've never had what we had again Let me switch the topic before I'm sad again But gotta make my fans mad again But rather and disappear a hundred times this year And I know I might seem I put my life on the line Then I turn around Ooh, that first ad lib. Hey, we sounded exactly like Lil Papa. And the last thing really for the ad libs, just a little bit of parallel compression. Just give them a little present. I put my life on the line. Then I turn around and put that same life in my run. I try to control my emotions. Put my pride to the side. Certain ones I preach forever with and never I survive. And those were my savages. Okay, so that's pretty much the end of the vocal tutorial that we have today. If you guys are interested in this little pup, 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 papa preset, it's coming with the beat leveler, a mastering chain, the lead vocal preset, and the ad libs. So you guys can check it in the link down below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and also check out the Patreon. So I just want to say appreciate you guys now. Peace.